Hey you guys, welcome to another vlog. It is a beautiful rainy day. I actually love rainy days. They're literally my favorite. But I have to run some errands because it's Thanksgiving week. We're gonna be having Thanksgiving at my sister-in-law's, my brother's house. And everybody's bringing a side dish and a dessert. We live in the RV right now, so the RV ovens are very small. So I was thinking what's something that I can bring that it's kind of like a no-bake dessert because there's only so much that I can do in the oven when it comes to I mean there I could do like pastries and stuff but I found a recipe for pumpkin tiramisu cups situation it was actually a pumpkin tiramisu cake but I'm gonna be using the deep dish for green bean casserole that I'm gonna be doing so I thought let me make a little tiramisu cups because people do that and it's no bake so I'm thinking I hit up Dollar Tree for some cups and Walmart for everything else that I need. So that's what we're going to be doing. But I'm honestly just glad to be getting out of the house. I don't think I've left the house by myself. Like without the kids, without anyone. I don't even remember the last time that I left the house by myself to be honest. I just can't even remember a time. It's either as a family we're going somewhere or I'm going with the kids or at least I'll have like one kid with me. Back when we lived in New York I had my mom nearby. So I could always like run errands by myself, drop them off, and mom watches them, and then I'll, you know, go to the store or something, or we'll go out with my friends. But here, ever since we left and moved, I haven't really been able to do that. So I mean, when we stayed with my sister when we first came to South Carolina, right now we're in North Carolina, I was able to like go out with her. But since we've been in North Carolina, it's just it hasn't been a thing, and I feel like sometimes, you know, you need it. So I'm just excited. It's like going to be a whole holiday vacation for me. So let's go have ourselves a little vacation. And first place I'm gonna stop is I'm gonna get some coffee. So I think I'm gonna stop by Dunkin' Donuts though. They have an offer on the app right now for a dollar medium hot coffee. So I think that's what we're gonna get. But I do wanna get like a holiday flavor. So I'm not sure what flavor we shall get. I'm driving this whole time and like, man, I smell like chicken. My husband was frying chicken before I left. I'm gonna go in the store smelling chicken and I feel like it's a whole personality right now to smell good and I'm out here smelling like fried chicken. <laughs> and I remembered as a kid growing up, like I couldn't not leave my house smelling like catriete or borscht or something. Like it didn't matter what day of the week it was, it could have been a Tuesday, you come over my house, you come out smelling like catriete because my mom was always in the kitchen <laughs> cooking up something so you just couldn't escape it. So it just made me remember, it was good times. Good times, good memories, smelling like catriete and now, now I want catriete. Welcome back and how can I help you? Hi, can I have a medium hot coffee with cream? What holiday flavors do you guys have to flavor that? Like syrups? Um, we have caramel, breakfast, and vanilla, butter and white chocolate. Um, we have a brown sugar. Oh, can I try that? Brown sugar? sugar? Yep. Yeah. All right, let's try that. Anything else? That'll be all. Go ahead, Flora. All right, thank you. Have a holiday jolly Christmas. Bum ba dum bum bum ba dum. Bum ba dum. We got the coffee. All right, we got brown sugar cookie swirl or something syrup. Brown sugar cookie. Let's give it a try. Mmm. This is actually good. It almost has like a toasted taste to it, but not really, but like a sweet toasted taste. I actually like this one in a coffee. I've always loved Dunkin' coffee. Like, I feel like their coffee, they do right. Specialty drinks, that's debatable. But, all right, I have a whole list of things that I need. We're doing brown, gr green bean cat brown. Green bean casserole, so I gotta get some green beans. And I'm also doing cranberry sauce, like a homemade cranberry orange sauce. So, I'm gonna go get everything I need. Probably won't film in the store, though. I got everything that I need. The only thing I could not find was lady fingers <laughs> and in our old Walmart back in New York like I know where everything is so I was going through the cookie section the bakery section I checked the Goya section cause sometimes Goya has lady fingers I checked the Walmart app I guess they don't have lady fingers so I googled what is great like what are some great substitutes and they say that biscotti I don't know we're gonna try it so I got three boxes of biscottis from Nani's and these do have almonds in it, lady fingers. They are crunchy, like similar texture and flavor, but they're still different, so I don't know. It's like one of those things. You wanna try a new recipe and then you can't even find everything on that recipe, so I don't know. 
we will see what happens but i did find a really cute little christmas tree i saw these when i first came to this walmart um when they just first came out with their christmas stuff and they used to have a gingerbread house and i posted it to my instagram stories i was gonna get the gingerbread house and i'm like what am i gonna use it for and now i'm thinking it would be great to replace my current coffee bean holder just as like a seasonal decor item and put some coffee beans in here and of course they don't have the gingerbread house anymore because gingerbread houses are trending so you know how that works anytime anything is trending it's off the market it's gonna be like i bought velvet flocked ornaments two years ago and even then they were so hard to find try getting your hands on some now it's like near to impossible i think with the internet I have a love-hate relationship with stuff that goes viral. I love it because then you learn about all these cool things, but then I hate it because then you can't buy it because it goes viral and then so does everyone and their mom buy it. It is what it is, the name of the game, I guess. Good morning, you guys. Let's get that first sip of coffee in. I got some new beans in yesterday from Trade Subscription. I decided to try it finally. This is the second or third bag. It's basically like a uh, coffee subscription and they send you new beans however many weeks that you choose. You get to try all these different roasters across the United States. It's a great concept and it's fairly affordable as well. It's not that much more expensive then probably like a dollar or two more expensive than buying from directly from the shop but this way you get to kind of try all these different roasters and places that i probably would otherwise not know about ones that they work with i haven't fully dialed this one in yet so as you guys saw the grind size was still a little bit too fine so it took a while for it to start flowing so i'm gonna have to coarsen the grind size and then tweak it to taste but so far you know i am enjoying it but happy thanksgiving eve it's Thanksgiving Eve, and we're gonna make I'm our. I'm not sure that's even a thing. It is now. <laughs> oh, your Christmas ones. Look, this one. Mmm, pretty. It's for Christmas. Okay. I wanna open it yet, and this. And this. Okay, thank you. I just wish you did the stocking so I can put all the white. We will. I'm gonna, once Thanksgiving is over, we're gonna put up the stockings, and we're gonna put up the Christmas bells and Mama, the ornaments. How do you guys like my little shelves there? I mentioned them in the previous vlog, but. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them like this, but this way I have all my body lotions and stuff up top. And I'm more likely to use them daily instead of them being tucked away. But I wanted to talk about a product that I have been sleeping on and really loving. I mentioned the Snail Mucin Essence, which has been really great for my skin. One of you guys recommended the All-in-One Cream. And I do want to try that next, but I do still have some moisturizers that I want to use up first before I get to trying a new moisturizer. But this has, it's like a drink of water for my skin. I find it a lot better than hyaluronic acid even. And next on my list is definitely the all-in-one cream. But another product that I have been sleeping on that has been around and popular for a long time is pimple patches. So I'm a bad habit picker. Bad habits die hard, they say. And I feel like when you pick at it, then you end up spreading the bacteria and then it gets worse and then it's just like a domino effect from there. So I have noticed that my skin looks the best when I don't touch it. But I just have such a bad habit of like seeing a little thing and I'm like boop, it has to go and then it just snowballs from there. So I decided to, you know what, I'm going to finally try some, try some pimple patches. So I found these from the brand, I'm not even sure, I think it's a Korean skincare brand. And I actually have some BHA, AHA like uh, little cotton rounds for the face exfoliating pads coming in from them i've seen them around i've just never ordered their products but i ordered these specifically because these are essentially invisible on the skin i actually had them on yesterday i don't know if you guys saw i had one right here i applied makeup around it i didn't want to apply makeup over it but if you kind of go back some clips you might be able to see it like right here on my chin and the way that pimple patches work is number one they stop you from picking because the area is covered and they kind of act as a barrier they don't 
I don't think they do much if you have a closed white head or anything like that. But if you have an open wound, like something you picked at or it's open, you can place this on top and it's basically going to draw the gunk out. So it's kind of the, or like the pus and stuff. So this white stuff that you're seeing is essentially that. This is my third or fourth time on this spot right here. So I have this one spot here. It was like a really deep, I don't know what it was acne situation going on or know what it was and I tried popping it and didn't want to pop because it was so deep and I just kept messing with it until I made it basically a scab and then once it healed there was still like a bump underneath just, I don't know if that ever happens to anyone where like it heals but it doesn't heal because they still felt a bump underneath so I'm like okay I need to draw this out so I've been using pimple patches on it and I feel like it's getting flatter and flatter and flatter so I'm gonna take it off it's kind of gross to see but these pimple patches have been just amazing so do you see that like it's still kind of like a scab it's basically been a scab but it's a lot flatter like it used to be literally a bump underneath my skin and now it's flush with my skin and then that white stuff is kind of like the sebum and gunk and whatever the impurities that get drawn out so if you've been sleeping on pimple patches and you're a picker like me I highly recommend them. Um, I actually found some that are a lot more affordable than these right here because this sheet right here is $8 which is a little pricey. I found some that look exactly the same like invisible but they're like I think they're on sale right now for $5. And then I have another one right here because I picked at another breakout. You can see there's like a white little dot right there and then you take it off. That's like such a weird thing to talk about and it's almost healed. I have found that this helps my pimples that I picked at heal a lot faster as well. So I'm telling you, if you've been sleeping on pimple patches or snail mucin, especially right now with Black Friday deals, highly recommend trying them out. And the pimple patches I apply overnight and leave them on overnight. I find that's easiest, the easiest way to use them. Just make sure you're not using self-tanner that day if you do use self-tanner because you're just going to take off the pimple patch and everything is going to be tan except for that. I just remember watching a reels of a girl doing that and she ended up with like a pimple patch spot where the self tan I didn't get to. But today's plan is to do the green bean casserole and the cranberry sauce and the mousse cups, tiramisu, pumpkin tiramisu cups. We're gonna give it a try with the biscottis because all three recipes I can make ahead. With the green bean casserole, I use the same exact recipe from Natasha's Kitchen every single year and everybody loves it. We love it, it's so good and so easy. And you can make it ahead, store it in the fridge up to two days ahead. Just don't put the crunchy topping until like the day of. So I'm not gonna do the topping. And then same thing with the tiramisu cups. It says sprinkle with cinnamon like right before, or cocoa powder or something, right before serving. You can essentially kind of make it ahead because we're gonna be gathering tomorrow around one. We always gather earlier for Thanksgiving. I know some families gather at like five. For us it's one and just gonna have some nice family time. We celebrated my dad's 79th birthday this weekend. I can't believe he's 79. That's like so wild to say out loud and next year he's gonna be 80. It almost doesn't feel real. Time is a thief and it stops for literally no one. My husband went to run some errands then he's gonna go to the land and one of these days I want to do a video updating on our house building progress. By the way, I did my nails yesterday. They're this beautiful Christmas red. They're actually not, these are not Christmas red. It's like a, I'd say this is more of like a summer red, but it's this Modelone's solid gel right here in literally the shade red. And it's a beautiful shade for the summertime or fall time or Christmas time. I feel like it works literally any time of year, but it was time to redo my nails yesterday because a few of them kind of chipped on the side and I kept picking at it and making it worse. So I was like, okay, I have to redo my nails and so I decided to do red since it's basically Thanksgiving, which means it's basically, like once Thanksgiving ends, it's strictly Christmas for everyone. Like you can't even say it's not Christmas season anymore because Thanksgiving is over. And then we're gonna decorate for Christmas. Even though we kind of already did, I'm just gonna like put up some ornaments and stuff. My kids are playing and then my son's playing piano, so it's gonna be really loud. So I'm gonna do a time-lapse version situation, but for the green bean casserole, it's so easy to make. You just need green beans, mushrooms, heavy whipping cream, onion, garlic. Also gonna need breadcrumbs. I'll leave both of the recipes down below, but I'll kind of show 
how I do it, just for the sake of this video. But Natasha's Kitchen does such a great job at kind of going through all the steps. So I highly recommend. Her recipes are always so easy to follow and the end result is delicious. First sip, first cup of coffee always hits so different in the mornings. I wanted to finish off this video, kind of recap the day yesterday. Didn't vlog much, but we had a great Thanksgiving with family. Played some games, just hung out and talked. The weather here, I wasn't crazy about how hot it was when we first moved here. Like if you didn't have a pool, some days it was just scorching out. Like you didn't even want to go outside. But right now in November, we were sitting outside all snuggled on the porch. It was nice and cool outside, but it wasn't like freezing cold. It was enjoyable and it was, ugh, I am like loving, living for this. Like the weather here is not comparable to New York when it comes to November and December in the wintertime. I do miss the snow though. Like I see all these videos of snow and I'm like, man, I did not appreciate the snow enough when we were in New York. But then again, we also got snow for like six months out of the year. So you kind of got annoyed of it, you know? But I do miss the snow. That's like one thing. I heard that Boone in North Carolina here. Well, it's not here, but it's like farther up. They get, <clears throat> excuse me, they get snow sometimes. So I'm hoping maybe sometime in December I'll get a little sprinkle, sprinkle. And we can visit. Twinkle, twinkle, baby. Twinkle, twinkle. And maybe we can visit. But I hope everyone had a lovely Thanksgiving, truly. I hope your days were filled with lots of love, laughter, and joy. Hopefully. And if not, then I'm sending love and joy 
your way and I wanted to say thank you guys for watching my channel it means a lot supporting my small little channel here on YouTube thank you all of you that comment and engage I appreciate it so thank you but I wanted to share about the recipes the green bean casserole there was like so much food yesterday so I actually took some home because there were just so many leftovers but I mixed it in with breadcrumbs because the recipe calls for just breadcrumbs on Natasha's kitchen and Parmesan cheese we usually use french fried onions this time I'm like let me mix in some french fried onions and breadcrumbs and I feel like it diluted the crisp the saltiness so next time I think I'm just gonna do strictly like french fried onions and then maybe some parmesan cheese because parmesan cheese does add a bit of a flavor and then when you put it in the oven it broils and then I feel like I should have added a little bit more on top but otherwise it was really good and then the tiramisu now that I made it for the first time first of all biscotti great substitute for lady fingers I was shocked like it was really absorbed the coffee really well I went a little ham on the coffee flavor so the mascarpone you're supposed to add coffee into it and then also the you're supposed to dip the biscuits into coffee so it was very overwhelmingly filled with coffee flavor for me that's fine but for other people not so much so next time I think I'm not going to maybe add or maybe add a little bit to the mascarpone because I feel like it also masked the pumpkin like I couldn't really taste the pumpkin as much or maybe I'll just add pumpkin spice next time because I omitted it since we don't have any and also I wanted to say I would if you're doing cups I would do more biscuits than cream because I ran out of biscuits so I only did like two little layers and it was just like a lot of cream for my liking so like next time I know what to do you know now that you make a recipe you kind of know what to do but I just wanted to share in case anybody does try it everybody has a different preference at the end of the day so you might want to tweak it to your liking but now that I made them I would make them again I would just like tweak a few things and they don't look as cute so I'd probably I don't know if I would use a bag I had like a small little sandwich bag that I used because that's all I had but I might smooth out the top next time to make them straight instead of look like little lumps of turd my brother was laughing he's like I don't want to say anything and I'm like it's okay you can say it. it looks like a looks like a little turd but they're good so don't judge a book by its cover but yeah we had a fun Thanksgiving it was nice it was nice and I can't believe cannot believe it's over it's like full-blown holiday season here I put the stockings up and I'm gonna slowly one of these days we gotta put up the ornaments on the tree with the kids and today we want to go to there's an equestrian center called the Tryon Equestrian Center. We went there for the first time to watch a horse show. It was so great. They had like a little festival situation with live band playing and just very lively. But they have something for the winter. They have a light show. They have today they're going to have a drone show. So instead of fireworks, it's like a bunch of drones, drones that get together in the sky. And I think it's going to be under the theme of Mr. Grinch. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Talking so much so my voice is really low. And they only do that once, which is today. So we want to do that. They have ice skating, live music. They have a Christmas market and like the whole thing. But at, today's the day that this campground is doing like a Friendsgiving of sorts. They're all going to get together and have like a bonfire and have like a potluck of sorts. And my husband's having like a major FOMO. He's like, oh, I want to go. And I'm like, we already made plans. And the drone show is just one day. It's not like they do it throughout the winter season. Like it's just today. And the kids were so excited for it. So once you tell them, that's it. Once you tell kids something, that's it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out. Thank you guys for hanging out. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a beautiful weekend and week whenever you're watching. Thank you for watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys in future videos. Bye.